brother. It's so good. If you like your purpose, one, seven, eight. And this is not six minute abs. So if that's what you've come for on the basis of the headline, really sorry. We are not six minute abs. We're not quick fix. But we do want to talk about that kind of thing. The short fix, the hack, the shortcut, the miracle ab workout to uh, chisel your torso in two minutes flat per day or six or 12 or 27. But um, we will come on to more of that in a moment. For now, my good friend, uh, Maximus Aurelius uh, in the Canadians is going to uh, let you know who we are, what we talk about, what we don't talk about. And, um, and then we'll get on with the show. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. And I'm going to shut up. Max. That's correct, John. We are not the quick fix. However, we are the long haul. And it is this. Ignite your purpose. We talk longevity through a healthy lifestyle. It is a mix of the mental, physical, spiritual knowledge, the mind, body, soul trifecta, and its simplest form, beautiful people, negative to positive every day. So we're just a little bit better than the day before. And again, in the first sentence, we talk longevity through a healthy lifestyle. So we kind of want to touch today upon the society of the quick fix, the quick pill, the two-minute workout abs where, you know, I'm four or five years into that and I don't still have eight-pack, 12-pack abs yeah, yet. Yeah. So um, let's, uh, let's, let's talk the real talk, John, even today, how we got a message from a gentleman who we wanted to interview and he even had some feedback for us. So it's a progression. It's a gradual. It's a, it's a long haul. I don't ever think we get there type thing. I don't think it's a, I don't ever think it's a quick fix. You? Yeah, for me, it's, it's the journey, it's the process. And, and the question I'm, I'm going to ask you is what was, or when was the last occurrence, the last episode where you, you kind of went for the quick fix, you thought. And, and for me, talking about uh, what we've been doing now, this year on the podcast, I was, uh, I'll do an Ud Udemy course. Is it Udemy? Udemy course on SEO, thinking that would make everything crystal clear. I'd get all the tips and the tricks and instantly the SEOs, the backlinks, the hashtags, the copy, the writing, the tags, the title would all come magically. It would flow through me, through these hands, into the keyboard, <laughs> onto the screen, and that would be it. And um, guess what? Didn't happen. Didn't finish the course, actually. It was only 20 bucks because um, I realized that on that particular occurrence, they're not all the same, but it was bullshit. It's just uh, <laughs> into people's um, need to want it now. So, Max, I'll, I'll talk some more in a minute. But what was your last um, uh, occurrence of lack of patience, if you will? Oh, I think I think it happens still <laughs> daily, almost Every day, when yeah. it comes to to what we're doing. Right? Um, it, you want it. I'm going to twist it. I think we all want it to happen overnight. Um, and it's that there's that battle with patience and, you know, awareness and understanding. Um, and, you know, it, it's like how many examples of there are, are, are there out there of the people who have, you know, hit that lucky spell and they've won the lottery. And then within, you know, a year or two, they've lost it all. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I think I keep that in my forefront because I think if this did come quick, I think there'd be no foundation. And I think you and I are now building that foundation. Yeah. Um, and without that, without that hard work, without the, the, the failures that you, we, that you, we both learn from, um, when it does come, you won't have the, uh, the mental fortitude to keep it. So I definitely think every day we, we wake up, there's, there's been a message for us. There's been something from somebody who has, you know, the new answer, the new this, but I think in the end, it's, it's our struggle to get to, and struggle might not be the best word it's our journey to get through and yeah. you just do that by doing absolutely not by you know somebody else's two minute video that's gonna that's why we talk the long haul even here john it's yeah you know we, it's not gonna happen overnight it's no nope. I've, uh, I've yeah I've, I've i've got a couple of um a couple of views if you will um It 
it's the journey it's the process people don't want to do the work anymore we've got this instant life where we can instantly order something on amazon or instantly have any kind of food we want delivered to the front door or instantly go online and find what's potentially our ideal mate it's all this instant life and so people are not wanting to do the work um and we'll we'll all be sold a package online but ultimately when people are selling a lot generally i hope we're, we're different because we're not selling anything at the moment when people <laughs> are selling you stuff online they don't care about you they've just they've found a niche they've found a little rabbit hole and they're trying to hack the system ultimately not to make you better although that may be a byproduct of their process but it's so they 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 make some money and i heard gary v talking this morning about um how you know for 10 years nobody heard about him and all these videos he was doing each and every day and nobody heard about him and then um last maybe six months ago we made an 88 page document of how to do all this stuff and he gave it away for free and he could have charged 1500 bucks for it of which 99.99 percent of the people out in the world would have my god look at this inf information this blueprint to hack social media and he gave it away for free because he sees more in the process and that's certainly for him and likewise for myself i Max and I are doing this in, in the long haul. I'm going to live for another 75 years. That's the plan. That's the aim. That's the goal. That's what's in here. Um, and so we've got time to do this. We don't have to connect with a million people tomorrow. But by doing this each and every day and it taking up part of our day each and every day and we're sacrificing time with our loved ones most days to some point, um, I get it transfers into all areas of my life learning to have the patience with this I'm learning to have patience with people I'm learning to have patience with myself and not being so driven to have that instant moment you know that instant gratification every time the phone pings oh oh somebody's looked at a text or somebody's looked at an email or somebody's looked at it it, it doesn't matter you know, like I say, a guy today, he was saying, oh, your your keyword search isn't optimized or something like that. And that's OK, because we're learning and we're learning in such a way as we've we're building these skills. Oh, shit, I, I've got I've got a job. I work part time at a clinic. And one of the girls, her job is social media to put the posts out. And she brought it up in a meeting today. And I said, oh, well, have you tried making mini clips? Do you know what a backlink is? Well, it's really important to have the. I didn't know any of this not even six months ago. Not even no. six months ago. And I've now got this skill where I can vaguely teach somebody. I probably can. Rewind. I can teach somebody how to do the basics of SEO optimization. Here's the basics. Go away, learn that. And then if you want to learn some more, bang, 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 bang. And that's the process. That's what I've got from being patient. I'm not having paid somebody $25,000. To optimize a page that particularly wasn't worth optimizing at that point although we think we're awesome and we're funny and we've got value to share um we could have shared all that with a million people spent hundreds of thousands of pounds and it wouldn't have achieved anything and we've got stuff out of this so i'm talking again i'm going to shut up <laughs> i love it i love it there's a lot of a lot of good tidbits in there but it's true john i mean I, you know, being, being Italian, growing up in the trades, man, nobody learns a trade overnight. You know, it's, wow. you're a journeyman, you're this, you're that. It's a four to five year process. And then, like you said, you actually have a skill. So you and I could have and still could pay all these people. And it's not that we're cheap or frugal, but, or maybe it is for all I know. I don't know. But I, I want to learn this, you know, I, and you're right. I, I can now see, you know, I know a guy starting this business. I know a guy starting that business and I see his posts and i see how they're laid out and i see how they're not doing this that and the next thing i can actually give some advice um on on how to streamline it how to make it look better how to you know get yeah. some search words in there and it's like yeah we've we've definitely learned and that's only over two months and that's you know with everything else going on in life so it's uh if you can trust the process and you can actually hmm 
you can actually understand that it's not probably not meant to happen overnight if you don't want to be a flash in the pan. If you do want to be the flash in the pan, you want to get that quick money and, and balance. Hey, there's that's an option too. Um, yeah. Yeah, especially when it comes to your health, yeah. there, there is no quick fix, right? It's, mm -hmm. this is something we have to do day in and day out. And I say this all the time, it takes hard work to die healthy. So if you and I aren't going to die well into our hundreds, we got a lot of work to keep healthy, right? It's not just like we did it once at 32 and we're fine. Not, 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 not like that at all. Yeah. Um, it's like, it's like the, the next crash is imminent. It's coming along. And I think, there's a hundred, there's thousands of websites and blogs and podcasts that will disappear overnight because people have potentially built their websites off, off the back of money or a short term hack and people are just going to stop doing it. But those who put the work in have created the brand, they've built the skills, they can, they can just pick up and start again, you know, in, you know, in a year's time or two years time, it might be. All of a sudden, this is the new growth area. But if you've learned how to build a website or code a website or how to do your SEO or how to do your keyword searching or how to great take great pictures, video. Um, what was I wrote this down earlier today? What was it? Oh, man, it's gone. See? See, it's here. On the post-it note. Once you once you can take great pictures, make great video and put great copy down the written words and you can transfer that across. You've, you've made it once you learn those skills to take great pictures, take great video editing. It's all transferable. You know, and that might be for a local business down the road. It might be for your mom and dad or for your next startup. But uh, I mean, the, the biggest kind of hack everybody wants, especially now we're all fucking fat. It is the weight loss and it's paleo this week, keto that week, Atkins next week, uh, the fruitarian diet. There's a thousand of them and they come and go and come and go. And while people are paying attention and doing it and they've got their focus on it, it kind of works for a bit and then they stop and it all comes back on. But if you can think, well, what, what, what's a nice patient? Could I lose two pounds a week? How can I lose two pounds a week? Well, I could be really conscious about whatever. I could write everything I eat down for a week or for a month and not worry about the weight. And then you can look at it. And from that data, just the same as on the computer, you can pull out some metrics. Well, actually, I'm finding that I'm eating 32 Mars bars over a month. I'm having 72 Big Macs. So I've only had one piece of kale. And but if you've got the patience to do it, you can get the data, you can get the metrics, and then you can work a plan for you. And you might not get six pack abs in six minutes, but you might lose that one stone over one year. That just changes your life. You just got the energy and vitality to be able to play with the kids, to be able to pick them up off the ground or getting in and out of the car or to go for that one mile run or that 1K run or that 500 meter walk down to the shops. It's really kind of focusing in on what you can do today rather than what some dickhead is telling you on the internet. <laughs> it doesn't look good. He's photoshopped the pit. So I'm ranting. Sorry. I love it. We have source our fucking knowledge. Sorry. I was twice this one there. I, was, I swear a lot, but not online. We outsource our health. To, who are these people? Who are Max and I? Who are, I think we look great. I think we've got vital vitality and vibrancy and energy. I'm 45 last week. Never felt better in my life. So any, any words that we utter is, is off the back of our, our experience and being able to say, well, it's not genetics. You go and look at my mum. But I'm the example of living the, the, the words that we, we share. So I've got, I'm definitely ranting now. I'm going to shut up again. Max, finish no, the show. That was perfect, brother. Um, and I'll leave it at this. Talking about skills, John, whether it's your health, you know, if you took a pill, that's one thing. But if you once you know how to do it, what's that word? You teach a man how to fish. You know what I'm talking about right there. If you teach yeah. a man how to fish, he'll never you go to fish for a for a day. You teach a man to fish, he will um, he'll eat forever. And there's the, I only heard of, there's another spin on that I heard yesterday. You talk, I'm going to remember it. <laughs> but you know the people that know how to do things 
you know, we've heard some of the greats. We know Donald Trump's been at the top and been broke. We know Tony Robbins has been at the top and been broke, but they have the skill set to get back to the top. Um, and if you do something quickly, you will never have those skills to get back to where you want to be. So on that note, I'm out. I think it was a beautiful talk, John. Um, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think I've remembered it or my, my spin on it. Okay. Give a man a fish, he'll eat for the day. True. Teach a man to fish, he'll eat forever. True. Do neither of those things and he'll come and take it from you. <laughs> there you go. I uh, already heard that yesterday. So um, I love it. I love it. Right. Thank you. Cheers. We'll speak to you next time. And um, as always, we appreciate you. Bye-bye. We definitely